Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter! <laughs> That's me. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. I'm still doing the booms. Bam, 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 bam. Review stuff. I'm back for another review video. It's been a couple days. Did you guys miss me? So today, my cousin and I went around for Cousin Fun Day and I was like, I need to find some new things to review. But I didn't really find many things to review. In fact, we went to Trader Joe's specifically, specifically just to look at their new section. And they didn't even have a new section because all their stuff was like already put like into the different, you know, categories of candles and whatever. I did do a haul though. It's over on my Peter Does Stuff channel. So if you'd like to see everything that I bought at, uh, bought and purchased at, <laughs> not sponsored, bought and purchased at Trader Joe's and at Costco today, go check out my my Peter Does Stuff video today. It's a huge, not huge, it's a haul. It's a haul of the things I got at Costco and Trader Joe's. So, a couple weeks ago, Caroline and I went to Trader Joe's. I always like to try new things that they have there. And I bought a couple things and I haven't reviewed them yet. And I'm actually, as they're sitting here in front of me, I'm like, I know you guys have probably already seen the thumbnail. <laughs> so, you're already like, yeah, it's not a mystery. But I'm like, this is kind of perfect with the shirt that I have on today and my hat. It like goes with all of it. So, I bought these cookies. Here, let me, uh, let me do a little thumbnail before we get into this. Are you guys ready? See, it does. It kind of matches my shirt a little bit. Purple, purple. Well, this is kind of more of a burgundy, but it's kind of showing up as purple. And then it, like, it matches my hat a little bit. Oh my God, it's like perfection. So anyway, I bought these at Trader Joe's. I don't know. This was like, I, this is not the review to do the day before I'm doing my weigh-in for my Peter Dessa channel on my health journey, but I have these things and I was like, screw it. We're going to do it family friendly. I was like, forget it. We're going to do these today anyway, because I want to try these things. And they've been sitting in the closet. I have this bag of things to review that's just sitting in the pantry closet. So I was like, I'm going to review these today. So what they are, are Ubi. <laughs> are they called Ubi? I didn't know what they were when I did my haul. And a couple people, um, they let me know what this Ubi is. I've never heard of it. Uh, if you put an L on it, it's lube. Family friendly, but it's these, U is it Ube? <laughs> is it just Ube? Is it Ubi? I don't know. But they're the Trader Joe's Ubi Tea Cookies, Purple Yam Shortbread Cookies with powdered sugar. I think somebody told me that they were something like um, probiotics or something like that. I'm gonna look them up in just a second and see what the Ubi is. I'm sure some of you out there know what the Ubi is and you're like, Peter, the Ubi is, I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. But these are the Trader Joe's Ubi Tea Cookies, Purple Yam Shortbread Cookies. So let's get down with the Ubi. <laughs> let's get down with the Ubi. And then the next thing, um, uh, I was trying to make a joke in my head, but it was definitely not family friendly. The next thing I got is the Trader Joe's Ubi JoJo's. Now JoJo's at Trader Joe's are basically like Oreos, but they have like frosting over them and like stuff like that, or like, uh, what do you call them? Like vanilla stuff over them. So these are the Ubi JoJo's. <laughs> Vanilla flavored sandwich cookies with Ubi cream, <laughs> which is basically lube, I guess. And then it says uh, something Ubi and yogurt candy coating. So the coating over, it's like a, you know, a coated uh, Oreo cookie. Now, you know these always have stories on them. So let's read the stories. The short, the shortbread ones say, right here, sweet, I thought it said, thought it said sweet and cruelty free. I was like, are Ubi, are we being cruel to the Ubi's? <laughs> Are they extended species? Is it ex it's extinct species, the Ubi's? Each of our sweet and crumbly Ubi tea cookies is made from all butter shortbread that's been mixed with slightly savory Ube. <laughs> the popular purple tuber from the Philippines, they have, oh, it's, so it's like a, uh, like a potato? They, or a root? They have a unique lightly earthy flavor earthy for a cookie? I don't know that I want that. Lightly, they have a unique lightly earthy flavor and satisfying tooth tooth toothsome bite, which are both enhanced by the generous dusting of powdered sugar over each cookie's surface. Who writes these is what I want to know. I want, I want this job. I want to write these things for Trader Joe's. While they make a great companion to a nice steaming cup of coffee or tea, we also like to enjoy them simply by the handful as a quick, delicious dessert. And they put on here actual size, which I live for. They do that. This is actual size. Okay. Now let's read about the JoJo's. Okay. JoJo's. I had a stuffed animal when I was a kid. I've shown it in some of my videos. But my mom and I, we went to this garage sale, and she was like, you can get one thing. Kind of like Christina Crawford, Mommy Dearest, you can keep one present. She was like, you can get one thing. 
But I ended up actually, I think at that one I got two things. Or I got them at two different garage sales and my memory is not serving me correct. But I got the Lonely Doll book, which I still love to this day. But the other thing I got was this stuffed animal and it was all like beaten down and stuff like that. Kind of like the Velveteen Rabbit and I called them Jojo. And I still have them to this day. Actually, I'm cleaning out my basement and I like got rid of all my stuffed animals, but like three or four of them. And one of them that I kept was Jojo from that garage show. See, I, and I'm like still in my head, I'm like, I, can't, I have Jojo has to have a home. <laughs> like I, got, I brought Jojo home from the garage show. So anyway, I love the name Jojo. So the, I have to eat these cookies, right? This is how I rationalize things in my head and then it's hard for me to stay on my health journey. Okay, if you've got a craving for the uniquely delicious taste of oob, I don't even know what oob is, okay? I don't even know if it's, I don't know who she is. Have we got a treat for you? We start with a special vanilla flavored Jojo that's been filled with sweet, ineffably oob flavored cream. I just went to the Trader Joe's, I'm telling you right now, I know that most of the people in there I couldn't pronounce ineffably, and I can tell you right now that probably 99% of them, including me, don't know what that word means. <laughs> I don't know what ineffably means. A lot? <laughs> I don't know. We'll look it up. Ineffably oob flavored cream. Then cover it in a rich, creamy yogurt candy coating that's also flavored with oob. <laughs> flavored with oob. It's a sweet, craveable snack flavored with oob. <laughs> on the inside and out. In other words, a worthy tribute to this totally tubular tuber. So it must be like a potato or a root or something like that. Okay, let's look it up. What is what is an oob? <laughs> is an oob? Oh my god, there's spirits in this video. I think I'm seeing oobs. Oh no, that's orbs. Hold on a second. What is an oob? <laughs> Pull up uber. Oh, here it is. They're purple. That's why the box are purple. Okay, purple yam. Purple yam, also known as oob, is a starchy root vegetable that is often used in Southeast Asia, uh, Southeast Asian cuisine. It is a species of yam called Dioscoria alata, and its tubers, oh my god, totally tubular, man. <laughs> what is the flavor of oob? What does oob taste like? The distinct oob flavor is slightly nutty. <laughs> Imagine that with some oob. Slightly nutty with a hint of vanilla. It has a coconut-like aroma that lends itself well to dessert items. Oob is most often boiled, mashed, and mixed with condensed milk to bring out its sweetness. And it shows, like, it looks like a potato, but the inside looks like an oob. <laughs> what was the other word that we wanted to look up? I know that most of you probably know what that word is. But listen, you can learn something new every day. Every day. Ineffably. Ineffably. Ineff they didn't even spell it right on here. Oh, here it is. Ineffable, meaning... Too great or extreme to be expressed or described in words. The ineffable natural beauty of the Everglades. Oh wait, that's been filled with sweet and effable, effably oob flavored. It's too great to be expressed in words. Okay, well this better, they better bring it then about this oob, okay? Because this dude is ready for some oob. Okay, let's try these. So these are the oob tea cookies, purple yam shortbread cookies. Now it says on the back here, it shows you the actual size. So we'll see if that's the truth of the nature, if they're liars straight in the pit of hell. Uh, I think they might be liars a little bit. I don't think it's necessarily the exact, well they have it like split in half, so maybe a little bit. But this is what it looks like. You get a lot of them in here. They were $3.99 I think for a box. You get a lot of them in here. They look like little tea, tea cakes, right? Mmm. I don't know that they taste necessarily earthy. They taste like just shortbread cookies to me with powdered sugar on them. That's what they taste like. They're okay. Five for 130 calories. I'm only having one of those. They're okay. They're nothing to brag about or nothing to run home about. Write home about. I'm not having another one. Yeah, I think they would be good with a cup of tea like reading a cozy mystery or something. They're okay, they don't make me want, like, I mean, there's cookies that I want, that I want 50 more of them. This is not one of them. On a scale of one to 10, I'll give these a four. They just like taste like little shortbread cookies with powdered sugar on them. I don't taste anything, like, there's nothing about them that makes me go like, oh my God, what is that flavor? And find out that it's oob. Nothing tastes that different about them. Now I've had these JoJo's before and I really do like these JoJo's. I think I've had the peanut butter ones. I've had the regular ones. So this is what they look like. You get a bunch of them. These better bring it home. I'm telling you right now. Well, they smell good. 
They smell like yogurt covered cookies. This is what they look like. Let's see my beauty influencer now. Okay. They're kind of falling apart. Oh, these are good. But, I think what I really like is the yogurt covering of them. These are good, but very filling. These literally just taste like an off-brand Oreo to me. Like an off-brand golden Oreo covered, like dipped in yogurt. That's what this tastes like. Like yogurt covered pretzels, that's what this tastes like to me. It's good. I don't know what this oob flavor is. 120 calories for one cookie. Are you kidding me? No, ma'am. Uh-uh. I don't know what this oob flavor is, but I feel like I'm going to have to buy some oobs. <laughs> is it plural or do you say oob? Like, is it is a, a bunch of oobs oobs? Or is it oob? I don't know. It doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> but I'm going to have to, like, buy some of those and try them to see what they really taste like. Because that just tastes like Oreos and shortbread cookies to me. I don't taste no oobs in there. No oobs. <laughs> you guys remember that commercial? I love this commercial so much. With a dog that has fleas. And he's like, some of these bugs, or some of these, some of these, some of these pugs have some of these mugs, but there ain't no bugs on me. I always sing that to Boo Radley. <laughs> there ain't no oob in these cookies. I don't taste it. And I am basically an oob expert at this point. <laughs> I've done my research on the Google, on the Wikipedia. I looked at pictures. I'm an oob expert at this point, and there ain't no oob up in there, okay? Don't taste like oob at all. <laughs> But I'm over saying that word. It's stupid. Anyway, let me know what your uh, favorite new treats are in the comment section below. Anything you want me to review, put it in the comment section below. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.